All right, everyone, welcome back into another prize picks video. We're gonna begin to the top props today. So yesterday ended up being a tale of two sports. The MLB props go two for six, which I would say kind of finally a bad day for MLB picks. Uh, that's kind of a refresher. Uh, it kind of gets me excited for MLB coming up now because we know that days like that are gonna be do like those are just going to happen throughout the week throughout the month throughout the year glad that that finally got out of the way but thankfully the golf prop was able to hit for us going two for two there so overall one unit profit on the day we'll take that another day of profit this week so hopefully we can get this week off start off the correct way also guys it is going to be the u.s open week uh for those of you guys that are unfamiliar nine to five sports is really geared towards a fancy golf membership as well as the prop stuff so be checking that out i get a lot of comments saying oh your your golf picks are killing it. it's like well yeah they they kind of should be i literally run a fancy golf membership deep dive database so it's kind of expected right uh so just be checking that out for the u.s open picks uh throughout this week so let's just start out this video with looking at the prize picks props that we have available on the day uh, for NBA. Okay, I will be coming out with a specific uh, NBA video probably later this evening as well. But looking at it, uh, the Heat are looking like their season is going to be over, looking like they're going to end the NBA season as a whole because they are plus nine. So they're not favored to win a uh, low scoring game as well. So we'll see that the best prop that we have available is actually going to be Nikola Jokic for over 12.5 rebounds, which to me seems pretty crazy. But my thought process here is maybe because of the low, uh, game total Vegas is thinking that there's just going to be a lot of missed shot attempts. I know Miami plays at a slower pace, but also it does seem like that would be part of the reason as well. It's just more missed shot attempts. And if we look at it, he has been kind of all over the place thus far this series, uh, 12 last games, so obviously would have needed one more 21, 11, 10, it's it's i don't really get why they love it uh, if you guys want to roll with it you can obviously we'll take a 54 percent chance for a prop to hit but that's really it for me right now i still don't mind caleb martin as a whole um projected to get 16.33 points rebounds and assists uh so we can see slightly over the vegas line of 15.5 you know a decent pick if you guys want to roll with that one you certainly could now let's go ahead and get into some WNBA props as well. So WNBA wise over, it, it's not looking like we have anything too crazy. Uh, I want to call it Courtney Williams minus 132 to get over 8.5 points. Uh, that has about a 53% chance to hit the projection data that's being pulled in. Likes her a little bit more at 11.6 for the points. And so if we look at it, like really a spotty one here, right? Like average over the last five, seven, and then we look at a total been over one so my question then would be why and i would assume it's going to have something to do with this high spread total whether that means more minutes or not let's just look at that as well no i'm not i'm not seeing anything that that would make her lead to getting more minutes or whatnot not exactly a high over and under that that one's interesting to me i mean it is don't get me wrong 168.5 is a lot for WNBA. Mm interesting there and then the other one we have as well is going to be copper here as well favoring the over points so really the projection data that i'm pulling in as well as vegas is not really a green here it's kind of strange you look at that game over and under uh, and you look at the the point spread there it would suggest that we shouldn't be really touching these so maybe that's a little bit of a stacking opportunity there uh you pair those two together and then maybe run it back somewhere else you know, just hoping that the game stays close enough for long enough. Now, if we flip it around, uh, Brianna Stewart for under 3.5 assists. This was the prop that was available for us. What was it? Two slates ago. It hit uh, as well as the rebounds prop for her as well. But I, I think I might roll with this one. I still feel pretty good about this one for the under assist. So if we look at it, Ben, pretty pretty hit or miss is the best way to describe it. So um, 54% chance for that one to hit. If you pair that up with the Jokic one, obviously we are getting two pretty solid bets uh, basketball wise, uh, just looking at it from a um, EV based standpoint. And then let's just look at some prop line differences because we are getting a decent amount of them. So we can see the average Vegas line has Brianna Stewart points at 23.5. Price has has set at 22.5. Projection data has it set basically at 25. So a potential edge right there for her. If you guys want to roll with that, you could. You could also do points and rebounds as well 0.5 difference there we are getting a lot of props where there are some discrepancies um between prize picks and the sports books uh kelsey plum as well projected to get 16.3 points and they basically have them all as pushes I, I should make that clear but uh just interesting in that regard that we are getting several where there's a full 
point or rebound or assist difference there uh there's the potential to take advantage of that and then same thing if we were to flip it around as well for the unders as well that's what i find interesting about WNBA thus far is that basically every other sport prize picks is adjusting for the under so there's not really any good under bets they're like trying to encourage over bets for some reason maybe it's more fun i, I don't really know uh but just interesting in that regard so now we go ahead and get into mlb here so mlb wise we have carlos here for over 5.5 hits allowed if we look at the projection data has a set of 54.6 so basically exactly the same uh 54 chance for that one to hit i don't know if i exactly love that one if you guys want to roll with it you could um uh, same thing with Martin Perez. Like, I don't know. I just don't love those ones too much. To me, this seems like a very tight board for uh, baseball today, especially for the pitchers that we are getting. So once again, let's just go ahead and take a peek at the hitting score. And guys, close your eyes because the top hitting prop is one that we're not going to like. Matt freaking Olsen popping up again. And whew, it's tough. I, I roll with, I know I said like last video, I wouldn't be doing it, but I tend to just roll with what the data tells me to and it's liking Matt Olson today. So if you guys don't want to roll with it, I I get it. I get it. And then at the same time, Brian Reynolds as well. That's They're both rough because I know Brian Reynolds the last two times he's been on the slip. He's kind of ruined it as well. So let's go ahead and take a peek at Draft and Sportsbook. See why they're kind of calling those ones out. So, all right, Matt Olson, it's a 10 over and under. Like, you better be able to get there, buddy. I would be super frustrated if you don't. Now, Brian Reynolds on the flip side, if he doesn't get there, I kind of guess we could give him a pass just looking at the, the point total here, 8.5. But that's a little frustrating. And let's look at the best game. Once again, it's going to be the Padres versus the Rockies there. 11.5. I mean, that is just a massive run total there. Other games you maybe would want to attack, Dodgers versus Philly. So we look at Brian Reynolds. He has not been, like, hitting the ball poorly just hasn't gotten that extra, you know, RBI hit based on ball run scored. And it's been very close. It's been kind of tilting. And actually lately, what I've been noticing is that with these hand score props that haven't hit and it's still been hitting at a great rate, it's just too many base on balls. So we need to get a couple more hits in there. Let me go ahead and look at Matt Olson. Yeah, it's ugly. It's ugly. I'm going to do it. I don't blame you guys if you don't though. Then lastly, let's go ahead and get into some PGA props. So we are getting a decent amount of props that have a an okay edge right there. Um, what I want to call is going to be some of these uh, like fairway hit ones. I like these ones. So Tagala, I think he's going to be teeing off by the time this video goes live. But Mark Hubbard, uh, over 7.5 fairways hit. Okay, he averages nine. Okay, event average, you know, 9.52. Projected to get 8.8. .8, so a pretty good one there. Uh, I, I like that one probably the most, fingers crossed. And what's interesting right now is that, and I'll pull this up here real quick. The scoring seems to be kind of easy. There does seem to be some birdies out there, um, which is weird because like this morning wave. And so we can look at this. The players that are struggling are right here, okay? Compared to the players that are playing well. There's more people under par than there are over par right now. So very interesting there. So that would suggest that the unders would actually be the approach to go with. And by that, I would mean like under strokes. So Matt Fitzpatrick, he's been a little bit hit or miss this tournament thus far. Um, I, I would say he's going to get under today. This is only two under par and he's probably the second best golfer in the field this week so uh i kind of find it strange that they're giving him that one and a tweet that i put out there was that he was actually one of the players that was expected to have a really good round four with the nine to five showdown data that's fancy golf based data uh for dfs um personally i think that's my best tool out there for fantasy golf so it's nice to see and then for reference point nick taylor who had the round of the day he was ranked number one yesterday so that's part of the reason why i didn't really love the shane lowry one <laughs> as well yesterday so i think we can bet the lower here so let's go ahead and get into the bet of the day just gonna be rolling with the 254 plus props that we are getting on the day obviously Jokic is gonna be tomorrow night but i'm perfectly fine rolling with that if you guys want to take that off because you're you're a person that just does bets for the day i get that i'm perfectly fine with that if you guys don't want to trust matt olson again as well i do get that like you don't have to roll with them i will choose to and then i do really like these two uh golf props as well the issue is that i need to get this video out because a lot of these start soon so i apologize for that but like i said i will be coming out with that afternoon evening nba preview video for monday night make sure to like and subscribe that one um, if you guys aren't subscribed, obviously like that video a ton. Uh, that'll help out the channel a lot. And it's been growing a lot in the past few days. Let's keep that up. Appreciate it. All right, let's have a good site. And as always, let's keep cashing.